From Dubai, I'm joined by Vijay Velic, CIO at Century Financial. Vijay, thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year to you. Uh, this uh, bleak uh, forecast by Gorgieva from IMF, how different are they from IMF? They were not optimistic anyway to a large extent for this year. Happy New Year to you. The forecasts are not much different from what the Fed or the ECB or actually any economist has been talking about since last year. The major difference being that the labor market has come into focus. The main thing that actually was 2022 was inflation. The only number that mattered was the CPI number. The difference in 2023 will be the labor market will become the most important part of how the markets do, uh, they, they do well or they do badly is purely dependent on the labor market and if unemployment actually grows with this given high inflation rates. On the other hand, IMF uh, did not uh, exclude the possibility of lowering forecasts for this month uh, with the revision they are doing periodically. But to what extent will central bank policies contribute to this bleak picture, especially that there are those who say that global economies or the major three economies in the world are headed into recession. The central bank policies will be the most important thing when it comes to whether the recession will be a mild one or a very heavy one. While we see that every uh, central bank around the world is very clear and has a hawkish statement going forward uh, where it comes to ECB, the Bank of England or the Fed all look like they might be raising at least 100 basis points more in the first quarter of 2023 itself. Given that situation, there definitely will be a crunch and that crunch is most important whether the, whether the central banks will come out with quantitative easing along with the high interest rates or whether it will, or whether it will be quantitative tightening along with the high interest rates. So that will actually determine the future of how the economy and how the markets will do this year is mainly dependent on the central banks. Central banks have uh, taken this uh, tightening path and undertaken to go on with it slower, please. And the current uh, circumstances have been pricing, especially what was happening recently when they undertook to do this job. Now that the picture has changed radically, especially in China, the increase in cases, which reminds us maybe of what happened in the early parts of 20. 20 when the big numbers were coming out of China. Do you think those central banks will be able, do you think they will have the tools to face a big economic, sharp economic slowdown if it were to happen because of a reflection of what's happening from China and its reflection on the world, just like what happened in early COVID days? So the current situation is quite bleak because the idea is we do have high interest rates, we do have high inflation rates, at the same time, we are seeing China's GDP sinking. And that is a major concern because of all the major economies in the world, China was still expected to post, post a more than 8%, which is not looking possible at all right now. That will actually impact the economy more than anything else right now. And that is why it's very important that not just the central banks, but the governments will also have to take some measures to, you know, definitely, uh, more importantly, calm the situation and a real estate bubble is definitely looking like forming. That is something which the government will have to see on how to actually make sure that the bubble does not really become too big or it doesn't explode on the other hand also. At the same time, there are those who criticize uh, those monetary policies. There are those who criticize ECB, those who criticize Bank of Japan, uh, specifically or uh, so this uh, divergence in monetary policies whether it is uh, being criticized for being the wrong ones or if they are on the right track or not how or uh, I mean what will be the cost of a policy mistake in this case it is very important for central banks to make sure that everything goes right any kind of mistakes any further will definitely dampen the economy for at least three or four years to come. So it is very important that central banks get it right. Uh, there is a lot of criticism for the central banks because they were quite late to understand inflation in the first place. All central banks were actually believing that the 
inflation will not be sticky and that is where they actually went wrong and that's what has caused the turmoil in the first place given a situation where right now it is very clear that the inflation is so sticky that in spite of commodities prices coming down we have seen crude and all other commodities actually come down quite a significant amount from their highs but the inflation is still quite alarming the it is very important central banks and governments have to get really everything right in place and immediately right from the start of the year to ensure that it is actually a soft landing and not anything else Vijay, my final question is with this happening, it's clear well, uh, the dollar is headed uh, to start the new year uh, less glittery and going down and easing. What are your forecasts for the ramifications of that dollar easing on other economies like emerging markets? I think we have seen the high on the US dollar when we saw it actually last year. I do believe dollar will actually continue to weaken. Probably the dollar index at 98 is what we expect for this year. We do expect the major cur currencies like the euro, the British pound, the Australian dollar, the Japanese yen to actually strengthen this year. Where it comes to the emerging economies like let's say India or China or Taiwan, it is always very difficult to predict because they still would want a weaker currency. So they will definitely try to weaken their currency against the US dollar. But the developed nations definitely looks like the bottom has been done. Vijay Faliksha, thank you so much for having joined us from uh, Century Financial. Have a nice day.